Hello and welcome to tutorial 27 in the Microsoft Visual Basic.net programming tutorials and this tutorial is a follow up from the previous tutorial which taught you how to create an application that would simply send a file to FTP. This tutorial is just going to teach you how to create an application that will allow you to enter credentials and it will upload files. So if you have not watched the previous tutorial please click the annotation now and watch it because if you don't you won't understand any of this. So right now we have our code here that which will upload the file and here we have our application and this button to send file. So what we're going to do is three things. We're going to create a field for username, create a field for, a field for text box and create a field for the file we're going to upload. So let's add three labels Okay, and in the first label we'll change that to username. The second label we'll change to password. And the third we'll change to file. Separate these out. Okay, now we won't need to add three text boxes. First for username, then for password, and finally for file. These will be text box one, text box two, and text box three. So for the password text box, go to the properties and set the password character, which is here. as star and that's basically all we need to do now for this file one this is you simply going to type the path now in this tutorial I'm not going to go over open file file dialog and how to use that because that's planned for another tutorial but if you know how to use that then do it if you don't know how to use that then ignore everything I just said then in the last 10 seconds and just go on with this. So now that we have our text boxes set up we can use the, the values that are entered into these text boxes as values for uploading our FTP. So the first one, text box 1, is our username and the second, text box 2, is our password. So let's go to our code and here we have user and password for our credentials. For the user simply type text box 1 dot text for the, pass for the username sorry and text box 2.txt in place of the password. Now, something that's been coming up a lot, a lot of questions I've been getting, is people typing text box 1.txt in quotations like this. That is not going to take the value inside text box 1.txt, that is going to actually write the string text box 1 full stop text. So please do not put quotations around variables and do not put quotations when you're using text box 1.txt or label 1.txt. Just simply type textbox one text with no quotations. Okay, now that you've done that, you're going to go on to the file that you're uploading. Now, the value for file, the name is textbox three, so we're going to use textbox three in place of the file, which is here. So we're going to change this to textbox three three dot text, and all that's going to do is upload. If you say you type C test.txt that's just going to upload text.txt there so that's just a short tutorial and it's I'm just trying to help you understand how you, how you can use text boxes in applications to set values for things like uploading FTP so let's just play this and see how it looks so you just type your username here password here and something like C file.txt here and then send file so that was just a short tutorial on how to create a FTP application to actually upload your files with an application. And if you have any questions about this, then please leave a comment and I'll ha answer right away. If you have any suggestions or requests, then also leave a comment. And please rate the video and subscribe. Thanks.